the question, what happened to Hannah? Alright? What happened to Hannah? She rejoices in the Lord. Wow. Good day everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Word. My name is Pedro Bilionis. Do you know that you have a purpose? In this channel, we declare, I have a purpose. This very morning, we're going to talk about 1 Samuel chapter 2, about Hannah's prayer of praise. So let's read it. This says, Then Hannah prayed, My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. So we're going to answer the question, What happened to Hannah? Alright? What happened to Hannah? She rejoices in the Lord. Wow! Hannah rejoices in the Lord. Imagine that. If you could know the, the story of Hannah, she couldn't bear a child. She was barren and then here comes the Lord giving her a promise that she could now give birth to a son, which is Samuel. So she rejoices in the Lord. The Lord made her strong. That's the second one. Wow. It's good to be strong from our own capacity, but knowing that the Lord would make us strong, that's another thing. That's really another thing. And then lastly, the third is, the Lord rescued me. Wow, 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 wow. Not only that her heart rejoices in the Lord, not only that the Lord made her strong, but the Lord has rescued her. I don't know if this is for somebody right now. I want you to know that the Lord is the only one who could give you the reason to rejoice. The Lord is the only one who could make you strong. And the Lord is the only one who could rescue you. So may this be an encouragement for you today and hopefully more people will get to know God through your life and never ever stop praising Him and praying to Him and seeking His face and knowing His will for your life because His will is perfect and good for you. May this be an encouragement for you today to never stop, never stop in your walk. Never stop rejoicing in the Lord. Never stop to ask for strength from Him. And never stop to remember that whatever circumstances that we are facing, the Lord is there to rescue us. Right? The Lord is there to rescue us. Thank you very much. This has been Pedro. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. God bless. Thank you very much for watching The Daily Word. And if you are watching and you don't have that relationship with Jesus, the Bible says at uh, Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised you from the dead and you will be saved. Pray this prayer with me of accepting Jesus in your life. Say it out loud wherever you are and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and as my Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. If you have prayed that prayer with me, you just got saved. If I were you, grab a copy of a Bible. Uh, find a Bible-believing uh, Spirit-filled church and find a discipleship group. And I hope and I pray that you would listen, learn, and obey His Word. Thank you very much for watching The Daily Word and join us as we declare, I have a purpose. God bless.